Hello, and welcome to Bees and Tea Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian. Um, Selena is over on the floor, so she is... Right now, she's going to be certain on appearing in this video. Um, that might change. So, welcome to anybody who is new. Uh, welcome back to all you guys who have uh, watched me before. I always appreciate all you guys. Um, so, this is my uh, floss tube about cross-stitch, my cat, you know, all the other good stuff. Bees. That kind of stuff and tea uh i do have a tea today it is uh, there it is uh well i can't find my bag but anyway i can't find the package but it is a stash double bergamo tea so a double bergamo earl gray i should say so earl gray with twice the bergamo flavor in it which is really really good and as you guys have seen before my favorite bee mug because yeah Technically my only beat mug, but it's still my favorite mug. All right, so, um, I do apologize for not having a video last week. Um, honestly, the stitchy bug has kind of not been here as much in the last couple of weeks, uh, which is ironic because I'm going to a, a retreat in like two days, three days. Yeah, three days. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure that's going to change it, I hope. Um, I, I've just had kind of a lot of things going on. Uh, there's a lot of things on my mind. It's, you know, um, you know, nothing that's, you know, or shattering or whatever. It's just, just a lot of things that are kind of, kind of weighing me down at the moment. And, um, it really has not been all that conducive to wanting to stitch. So, um, that being said, though, I do have a good bit to show you. And you're not going <coughs> to Sorry about that. You're not going to believe me, but I actually have not only a finish, but an FFO. Well, actually a bunch of FFOs. Um, I did not do the FFOs. Um, I didn't do the, the, the finishing. Um, so I'll go over all that good stuff uh, when we get to it. But yeah, you know, so uh, you may have the vapors. Just sit down, breathe in, breathe out. I know. It is weird. I actually do have finishes. Um, when it comes to work... I've got a bit. Um, I've got a, a few that I worked on here. Um, so I don't think this is going to be super, super long. Get that out of the way here. Um, but we'll see. So, yeah. Um, so as for uh, life updates, like I said, I've just had some stuff going on. Um, so um, nothing I really want to chat about. It's nothing you guys would really, you know, care about hearing about. Um but, uh, that's been kind of taken up a lot of the last mm, three weeks or so of my life. Um, so, you know, that, that's why, even though I did actually get some, get a finish, um, you know, that's, uh, what's been kind of on my mind more. So, um, not really much else has been going on besides that, um, I did take Selena to her normal checkup. She's all good. She's excellent. Um, she stayed the same weight, uh, which is about, I think, 9.3 pounds for literally like the past three or four years. It's amazing. We don't... <laughs> nice. We don't uh, dole out her food. I mean, we, we don't like portion out her food. Um, you know, we have... Uh, Oh, that's so good. Um, she always has dry food out, and she gets wet food uh, once a day. Uh, not a whole can, about third to a half of a can. Um, so, you know, we're not doing anything special. She just is being really good and being very healthy and staying a good weight. And is, you know, well, I do have a few uh, injuries, but nothing really major. So, yeah, that's uh, good news for her. That definitely made me feel good. Um, you know, you, you just never know. You always want to make sure that, um, the, the people that you love, including your pets, are healthy. So, that's always good. Um, that's about it for, for, um, life updates, to be honest with you. Um, honestly, I only got one comment last time. Uh, was there an issue with, uh, YouTube? Where people like trying to comment but not able to. Because uh, usually I get, you know, 
usually I get more than that, but I mean, which is fine. You know, I'm, you don't have to comment, obviously. I would never say that. Um, I just always enjoy comments. Um, you know, like I said, I, I read them. I respond to every single one. Um, so, um, so yeah, I just, uh, was kind of surprised. That's all. Um, but yeah, so the, um, uh, Healing Gamer said hi. So, hi. Um, I hope you have a good week. Um, I mean, that's literally it for the comments this week. So, okay. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to write me, even like I said, if it's just to say hi, I'm, you know, any sort of, um, uh, creative, um, you know, like creative commentary or uh, questions or anything about anything you've ever seen, something about the cat, you know, just whatever you want to talk about. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get to the stitching. So I guess I will go ahead and show you guys the finished stuff first. Ah, they're falling everywhere. So uh, this was. A bit of an ordeal, and the only reason that it was an ordeal was because of the United States Postal Service. Um, Oliver Puckett, who is the stitching stylist on Instagram, I have that down below, he is absolutely amazing. Uh, I actually have met him in real life. He's a sweet, sweet guy. Um, he used to work at um, Fire Poppies down in Charleston, which is about three, three and a half hours away from me. Uh, and I did get down there a couple times to get to meet him. Um, and he, since Fire Poppy's closed, he's still doing, um, he was doing finishing for the store, but he's still doing finishing. And his work is just absolutely amazing. I've already got uh, two more things lined up that I'm going to go ahead and have him do. So, you know, that's, that's you know, telling you how, how good I think he did. Um he did amazing. So, um, I did five little, um, just five little motifs, I guess, from different, um, um, oh, what were they? The Just Cross Stitch Halloween, you know, a few of the different years. I don't remember where they were exactly. So I apologize for that. And then what I did was I had him finish them into little, uh, ornaments so I could put them on a, um, cri uh, sorry, a Christmas tree, a Halloween tree, which I've not actually set up yet. I need to. Um, so, uh, these are just, I love these. And the backing fabric is amazing. So, and no particular order here, just as I grab them. So, we've got a little bat. we got the little, little rickrack on the side. And then, oops, ah, and of course the little hanger, which matches the color. Um, and that one is muff dust on the back. So that's actually really cool. And then I think this one probably has to be my favorite just because it's a black cat. So a little black cat, a little ribbon um, for the side, and then for the back, hisses, which I, I just love it. And it matches, like, see? It matches the, the back up arch cat. So, and then there was this little a pumpkin. There you go, with some orange and white. Um, was it gingham? I think it's called. And then it's like a really cool, colorful pumpkin on the back. I love that, like that purple and uh, purpley brown and and blue colors. And then. Probably my least favorite just because it's a spider. Not because of how he did it, just because I don't like spiders. But I love the finish. Got some, got a spider, got some, um, some rickrack on the side, a little ribbon at the top, and then of course a spider web on the back. And as you can see, these are nice, see they're nice, they're nice and thick. So, um, you know, they will, they will hang nicely. And then this one was huge, but, um, I still wanted to do it, so I'll have to hang this one down towards the bottom, I guess. All right. So, we've got a rat, and I love the two shades, the two shades of purple. Uh, there we go. The darker purple and the lighter. Um, and then on and a little, little purple bow. And then on the back, it's got Boo and 
it's a little it's a little story actually about kind of how um how Halloween came to be like you know from the whole Samhain um Halloween festival festival from the Celtics and all that good stuff. So, uh yeah, those are just absolutely amazing. He just blew me away. Um the next two I'm going to have him do are actually going to be gifts for two people. Um neither of neither of whom watch my videos, so I can I can show them off. So, um, so you guys will definitely be seeing those. But yeah, I mean, these are just amazing. I love them. Thank you so much, Oliver. Even though I don't think he watches this either. But hey, if he just happens to, thank you. These are awesome. All right. So the other finish, and this is actually going to be one that I'm going to send to him. Um, and this is going to be for a friend of mine who, um, I don't even think he knows I crossed it, so... He would never, he would never find it, but I've been working on this one for a while, uh, Tiki Time, from Ink Circles, and it is done. So I'm not 100% sure how I want to finish this. Oh, hold on, let me fold this, boy. I have some more fabric I could use on this one. That's almost, almost half the fabric, so I might have to cut that off, but there we go. Sorry about the little fold in the middle there, but... That is Tiki Time. Uh, there were a couple of changes. I changed the green because the one uh, that was in there was not nearly green enough. It was too brown. And I did make all these little teeth white as opposed to, I think it was onion. No, it wasn't onion skin. I don't remember what it was. But anyway, so a couple of really minor changes. Well, the green wasn't so minor. But everything else was... Um, as called for and so there you go um, so I would like to have this done in some sort of a tiki sort of way but not just I was hoping for something not kind of a little bit more interesting than just a frame you know like maybe a bamboo looking frame so if you guys I have a couple of ideas uh, all and I have come up with a couple of ideas but if you have any other ideas any um, you know any ideas on how to maybe make this a tiki sort of finish, um, please tell me. Uh, I would love to hear you guys' comments. Um, Oliver was thinking uh, maybe like a drum, which would be good. Uh, I was also thinking maybe like a um, some sort of a wall hanging instead of just a, you know, instead of just in a frame. So those were our ideas. Um, like I said, if you have any other ideas for how to make it tiki-ish, please, you know, send them my way. Uh, alright, so those were the, uh, that was the FFO, well, multiple FFOs, and my finish. And so, these two are close to finishes. This one is close to a page finish. I was really 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 hoping to get this oh no no this is a page finish i'm sorry i i sorry i forgot I, I had thought oh wait i didn't get to page finish it but nope so this is not a finish finish but it is a page finish i forgot i actually took it out of the the frame so i could show you guys my bad so this is long dog samplers you belong to me the uh great egyptian style um thing from uh from long dog there all right so this is up oh, there we go all right this is gonna have to be folded <laughs> several times there we go all right so this is the first set of pages there you go oh boy it is wrinkled as hell sorry about that guys um but yeah and i also apologize because it is cloudy and stormy out there, and so my light is really shit. I will try to take a better picture of this and put it onto um, uh, on Instagram. But yep, there is my. There we go. So I'm trying to do this and and look at the same time so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So that is what I finished down here the part of the tree and the bird and yeah that is the whole thing the whole first page 
I believe that it is four across and three down, which would mean that I am officially one quarter of the way done with it. And I do believe that disrupt my mouse. I do believe that I started this on January the 1st. I'm almost positive this is my New Year new start. So, um, you know, if that means if I could get it done in, you know, less than three years, that's good. You know, especially for a long dog. I mean, I know I'm sure people have done it a lot faster. But, you know, when you have a bunch of other stuff that you're doing at the same time, then, you know, that makes it a little... A little bit tougher but yeah I was uh, really really happy and really proud on that um, I will like I said I will try to take some pictures and then um, after that um, I will go ahead and get started on page five I believe so yep the last one is getting close to a finish um, I don't honestly know what I'm gonna do with it when I get done with it I would love to put it up in my house um this is not going to be for anybody in particular except you know like i said except for me but um as you can kind of see behind me space is at a bit of a premium so you know that makes it a bit tough so this is the modern folk embroidery move forward in love pride cell there you go um you know you just you look at it and it's just it's so pretty so colorful and you know like everybody everybody who sees it just loves it uh, so this is winster went huh, bestitch me winter solstice 18 count ada um the tiki was an unknown 18 count ada maybe a fox or rabbit but i'm not 100 sure and the um you belong to me was a a 16 or 18 no it's 18 count um papyrus from um uh what's that company that does the the printing um the one-sided printing i can't think of their name right now but that company that you guys all know all right so whoops okay i have random things attached to the back and i just lost it <sighs> okay well i'll have to find that later anyways so, this is my move forward in love. So, all right, can we put this over to the side a little bit? Okay. Anyways, so uh, there is not a whole lot left. I mean, I'm just, uh, this corner is actually not quite done. So, I'm really just going, you know, across this bottom part. Um, I'm more, I'm mostly doing it by color. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm color finishing. Uh, got the red done, the green. I actually need to go back and do some of the blue. I, I messed up on some of the blue, so. Um, the pink, the blue. Uh, let's just say the pink, the light blue. Uh, the black, the brown. Those are all done. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, so two of the blues, the orange the yellow the green the purple i think those are all the colors i have left so and some of them have more than others i mean obviously i have these uh i have three of these uh little color wheels left to do and they're not that bad oh and all the white sorry the white in between them so i do still have some white that i have to work with um the white will probably be the last thing I do because that goes inside these little holes and inside these little holes and such um so it would probably be best for me to go ahead and finish all of the things first and then do the white very last so that's kind of my plan um I don't think this will get done before next week because of the um the thing I'm doing this weekend, the, um, the retreat, um, uh, this is the retreat for whatever reason I thought this retreat was in, um, November is actually in October. Um, I still do have the other one, the, st I'm stitching in the hills. 
I forgot what it's called, but the one that's in Ohio that um, um, Vicky Stitching Button is going to. So I finally get to meet her. Yay! Um, but yeah, so that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, that one is still in November, but this one is uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Although there will be stitching on Friday too, so it'll probably be a three-day thing, uh, which is why I'm actually recording this early. <gasps> Shh, don't tell anybody. It's a secret to everyone. If you get that joke, you're awesome. Um, although you're awesome anyway, but you're just a tiny bit more awesome if you get it. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of the thing that's going on this weekend. Um, so I will have a lot of haul to show next week. Um, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to record next week. Um, hopefully, I'm really hoping that my my stitchy bug will kind of get back after this uh, weekend. So that's what I'm kind of hoping because things are kind of kind of evening out right now. So I think I think things are going to be good. Um, yeah. So that is all the stitching. Um, as for haul. I don't believe that I showed this to you guys before, so this will be the only one. Uh, this is my Fortnite Fabrics. It is a uh, eighth of a yard, 18 count Ada called Solitary Spider. And it is a, okay, a little bump on there. So this is a kind of a grayish brown. That's about right. Sorry about the pack packaging there, but... Uh, it's it's showing a little grayer. It's a little browner than this. It's a little warm. Uh, it's a warm gray brown. Um, and it's really pretty. And so, um, as always, I always like their stuff. Um, I absolutely plan to um, join back up next year. And so, um, yeah, because I do love their stuff. Um, yeah, that's really about it for that. So that's all, all the stitching, all the haul. Um, you know, I will definitely have a nice, um, a little, uh, review of what happened for, um, you know, at my retreat. So, um, you know, that, uh, that should be fun. Uh, yeah, so this is going to end up being fairly short. Pardon me for a second. I apologize. Here we go. Okay. Had to pick my mouse up. Um, all right. So I guess all I will do is just the, um the other weeks and then I think I will let you guys go so yeah this will be an extraordinarily short one um just uh, FYI I do have let me double check and make sure I have them down here um yes I do have um Oliver's um um a link to his Instagram and that Instagram will also have his email and so you can get in touch with him and he can get you prices and um you know, talk, you can talk to him about uh, any finishes you might have. So, definitely do it. Definitely. Um, alright. So, the of the weeks. So, um, the Stitchy website of the week. I don't think I had done them before, weirdly enough. Um, I have not ordered from them myself, but I know a lot of people have, and they really speak highly of it. Um, 1884 Stitchery. It's not like a normal cross stitch stop, shop um so it's definitely worth taking a look at um at their website because they have some really really cool things uh, but yeah so obviously these links will be below so that's uh, 1884 stitchery and then the non stitchy website of the week um cat socks cuz you know i i'm a crazy cat person even though i only have one cat and she's still sitting over there on the floor apparently I must have I stopped her from scratching the couch a couple times so I think she might be mad at me today and that might be what's going on so I I am sorry Selena yeah she's not paying attention anyways um but yeah so cat socks um they're really really cute now again I have not ordered from this particular website before um but they look really cute and I am probably going to ask Santa Claus for a pair of these because cat socks, you know. Don't really need them right now. It's not cold enough, but um, it will get there eventually. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure how the south is going to be this, this winter. 
if we're going to be cold or not. <coughs> I have heard that we're supposed to have a very dry winter. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm very sorry. Hold on a moment. Let me get some tea. Ah, much better. Would you please stop sticking to my hat? Anyways. And so, finally, the random bee fact of the week. Uh, although bears do like honey, they prefer to eat the bee, bee larvae. Um, I would assume... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Dry throat. I would assume that it's just that they're very, very high in proteins. <coughs> and I know that's, um, you know, that kind of stuff is how, uh, how they peck on pounds for the winter. <coughs> I'm very sorry. All right. So, I guess that is about it for this week. So, expect probably a longer video next week. Um, I have lots of really cool stuff to show you. Um, this retreat is a Christmas-themed retreat. So, it's actually going to be more patterns. Usually, we get like four or five I think this time we're getting seven, and that's because some of them are going to be small, um, kind of ornament type things. Um, I think maybe even she might have, um, she might be trying to have us finish them this weekend so we can do like a finishing class later, uh, before Christmas. So, you know, we'll have them for our, um, for our trees for Christmas, which would be really cool. Um, I don't think that I have any cross stitch on my Christmas tree. I'm not really a big Christmas stitcher. I love Christmas. Um, I love the holiday, but I just don't stitch a lot of Christmas, like almost none. So, um, excuse me. So, um, you know, to have something on the tree would be nice. Not that we really need any more ornaments. We have way too many, but you know, it is, it is what it is. So, and now I got the hiccups. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So, uh, expect, you know, seven new projects. Um, I don't, I doubt, I don't usually start all of them. Um, I will probably start at least a couple, two or three. Um, it just depends on how big they are and what I think about them. So, expect to see some new starts next weekend. Um, yeah. And that's it, I guess. So, some new starts maybe a finish but we'll see um and definitely a lot of uh, new patterns um yep yeah, so i guess that's about it uh i think i have rambled on oh i almost forgot from b and b scorn you and from myself sebastian i will see you guys hopefully next week bye